Hi, I've made this animation for Unreal Engine 5. I'd say it's half decent, maybe a solid 5 out of 10. Also, I made a couple of mistakes doing it, so you don't have to. This is the process if you're interested. Grab your phone or your DSLR camera and film yourself eating invisible peanuts. Select the one you like and trim its end and start. So you will have the shortest clip possible. Then go to deepmotion.com, sign up for a free account, click Animate 3D, check the guidelines. Realize that you shouldn't have used a solid colored clothing. Next time dress as a sailor and not a bank robber. Casually ignore your mistake and upload your video. After a few seconds it's analyzed and you can continue. Now you can select the default characters. You can mess with the settings or just leave it as they were. Click create and after a minute or so your animation is done. And it's not bad. Just, just look at it. I mean, just after a few clicks and you have an animation eating peanuts. Let's just take this time to say thank you to the crew of Deep Motion for making this possible free. Oh, <laughs> enough of the peanuts already. You can choose different meshes, but we have our own, so we won't use this. So just download an FBX. Then just go to Blender, import FBX. It's a good thing to check automatic bone orientation. So Blender will orient the bones automatically. Click import and here we have our animation in Blender. This is the armature Deep Motion gave us. It looks a bit strange at the knees and also at the end of the toe. But ignore this for now, you can regret it later. Export it as an FBX so we can import it into Unreal Engine. Click bake animation, face smoothing and click import in Unreal. Select your skeleton and... Oops. Oops. Oh. Okay, I used a Mixamo skeleton for my character, so obviously the name of the bones are totally different. So just rename the bones using Blender's batch rename tool. <laughs> no, Blender's batch rename tool cannot rename bones. So I used a tool from Matthias Petscheider called Simple Renaming Panel. After renaming, the names of the bones in the Deep Motion armature will match the names of the bones in the Mixamo armature which was used in Unreal Engine. You can ignore this warning after importing and... <laughs> okay, so it turns out that using the Deep Motion default armature is a total dead end. You shouldn't use it, I just tried something else here, but... Okay, and now let's see how to make it properly. You can upload your own characters, so Deep Motion will use those armatures and bone names and everything, so you don't have to mess with the renaming. Just export the armature you use in Unreal, in this case it is from Mixamo, and you can upload it to Deep Motion. I've made another mistake here because I didn't export the mesh, so it was invisible. But Deep Motion still created the animation, so after exporting and importing, it looks like this. Oops. <laughs> okay, so the animation is there, but that's just something off. In the animation montage there are some settings. You can change the time and mode of the blend in and blend out. Just play around and you can make it a bit better. Okay, it still looks a bit janky, so it's time to go back to Blender. This is the idle pose. And this is our eating pose. And the position of the bones are quite different. The most obvious parts are the legs and also the shoulders. So it's time to match up the bones and also refine some movements in the animation. And after an hour or so, this is the final animation. It's not that bad. I mean, there is a reason that character animation is a separate profession. Also, this is the first time that I use Deep Motion, and I'm happy with the result. That's it for now. Learn from my mistakes. Go create. Cheers.